Hello there everybody, Dave McCauley here. Welcome back to more Let's Play TLC Tender Loving Care for the PC. I'm here with Christy. Hello. Yeah, and we're moving on. We're keeping on, keep on. Keep on, keeping on. That's, That's it. Yeah. All right. So. I prefer romance over raw sex. Yeah. No. What? <laughs> oh, yeah. Of course, Christy does. Cause she knows everything about sex. Hmm. If I could sneak into a movie without getting caught, what did you just quite? Just I said always. <laughs> Um, I'm, yeah. I prefer True. romance over raw yeah. sex. Why does Michael hate Punky? Romance over raw sex. Mm. If I could sneak That's into a movie uh... without getting caught, I might just do it. Why um, does Michael hate Punky? Last one. I see seem to be reliving the same events over and over again. No. Do you agree with Catherine that Michael is acting with extreme selfishness? I... I seem to be reliving the same events over and over yeah, again. Yeah, I know. I would tell you a pretty damn question. It, it, oh, my God. All these audio cues. Michael is acting with extreme selfishness. Um, no opinion. I don't know. <laughs> That's a tough one. Sometimes I think of things that are too disgusting to talk about. Over and over again. Yeah. Do you agree with Catherine that Michael is acting uh, with extreme selfishness? Yeah. Sometimes Michael cannot control his lust for Catherine. Yep, yeah, agree. Agree. Oh. Okay, where are we going from here? We are going to... Hmm. Let's go to the master bedroom. Okay. I feel like there's only now, three rooms that you go back and forth between. Yeah, Catherine's the study and master. Yeah. I'm trying to make a big deal about it, but you're you're really not. Oh, <laughs> here we go. Oh, so excited. I are excited. We have Alan on the air. Hello, Alan. My dad? Hi, Dr. Betty. Thanks for taking my call. What's going on, Alan? Well, I've been in a relationship with somebody at work. Really? Things are kind of getting out of control. I can't imagine why. Well, I really like her. She's funny and smart, and we really click, you know? The sex is, like, so beautiful. I, I think I'm in love. No, I know I'm in love. She's the best thing that ever happened to me. Does your office have rules about employees dating each other? No. Then what's the problem? She's married. Uh-huh. I'm married, too. So your problem here is that you're committing adultery. Well... I wouldn't put it like that. Well, I sure would, Alan. What else would you call it? My wife doesn't Dad? want me anymore. She's frigid, you know? Sure, she'll lie there like a corpse and say, Go ahead, Alan. I don't mind. But that's not what I want. I'm not a necrophiliac. I'm a warm, caring person who needs to be nurtured and loved. I want romance and passion. Well, let me be blunt, Dr. Betty. My wife makes me physically ill. I can't stand the look of her, or the way she smells, her breath, the way she clips her toenails, the way she sneezes. God, everything about her. I hate her guts. Then why don't you get divorced? It's pretty simple. I can't divorce her. Why? I'm a strict Roman Catholic. You can't divorce your wife, but you can cheat on her? Commit adultery with another woman? Alan. I think you're a hypocrite. Yeah. Well, probably. 
So, what do you think I should do? Will you really listen to me if I tell you? Yes. I respect your opinion. If you're going to live by a set of rules, you can't just pick and choose the ones that suit you. You are married. According to your religious beliefs, you are committing a heinous sin. That's the way it is. You're stuck, Alan. You're gonna have to stop seeing this other woman. That's just what Father Francis said. Well, he's right. So what are you gonna do, Alan? Well, I think... I think I'm going to get another opinion. Why did you even call? <laughs> you knew what I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, I know. You're a worm, Alan. I know. A worm. I know. Well, I'd rather be a happy worm, though, than a miserable <laughs> worm. What? I love that guy. He's like, no. I'm going to fight against my own religion and just be happy. Me. Oh my dad. <laughs> oh my dad. Hi, that daddy. Seems like my dad. Oh, dad? Is that you? Dad? Papa? Papa? Papa, can you hear me? Maybe Michael's ready now. Ever since the accident, he's had trouble, but Catherine thinks he's ready. It's the guilt. Punky's barking again. Her bark is really gonna have my nerves. But Michael and Jody love that little dog. I guess I love her too. Yeah. Okay. Alright, where are we going? Catherine. Cat. Kathy. Chatty cat cat. Chatty Kathy. Yeah. Uh-oh. Hmm? What just happened? What the oh. fuck? <laughs> what? Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. I'm so scared. He wanted to fire me. I couldn't let that happen. I have an obligation to Addison. Her health depends on me. She will not be safe alone with Michael. I have an obligation also to myself. I worked too hard and waited too long for an opportunity to prove myself. This case is mine and nobody is going to take it from me. I saw a way to protect it and I took it. <laughs> Daddy? Daddy? Daddy, what please. Is, what is she doing? She's creepy fuck. Living room? Where are we going before the living room? Study. Study. Oh. <laughs> this is so weird. What is that? I don't this know. Is... <laughs> <laughs> you and I are both like with chip boobob got hibbity dibbity doobop boo. I'm I'm speechless. This is the second time that's happened to me of my life. I don't uh, know. Oh shit Oh my god! I know. God, what am I gonna do? <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm I did that. about that, dude. Jesus. I never felt like this. I hate her, but, okay, I know, I said it before, but I'll never, never let that happen again. I mean it, never again. She's, <sighs> I don't know what I'm going to do. Not. You not scare me again? Yeah, d don't pop out right in the middle of. And he's like, yeah, I know, right? Like, we're not probably on the same train of thought here, dude. Yeah, don't be a dick. 
I could say Catherine seduced me. I could say it was a result of more than six months of frustration and denial. But no matter how I characterize it, there's only one con conclusion. I have betrayed Allison. She's so precious to me. If she ever found out what happened up there, all, it, all of it would come thundering down on her. Jody's death, my infidelity, her own vulnerability, the sense of loneliness, the terror that comes from having no one to believe in, and it would all be my fault. I am disgusted with myself. I am not good enough for Alice anymore. I took a shower. It didn't help. The second time it happened, I should have been ready, but I wasn't. I felt so weak. Hel I, well, I felt so helpless, so weak. I went for a drive to clear my head. I needed to get away from them. I thought I was just driving aimlessly around town. Then I realized I was heading for the cemetery. I had been there since Jody was buried. I climbed the fence. I ended up on Mark's grave. The coma only lasted ten days, and he qu quietly died. Suzanne and, I had, Suzanne and I had come here on the morning uh, morning she was leaving for home. She told me that Mark had been planning to go to college in Germany, and that they had been uh, talked about getting married one day. She believed the dead stay with the w ones they love after they die. He wouldn't leave until he thought we would all be alright. He knew that we were, were both afraid to let him go. We were pulled to, eat her, to each other again. The attraction was impossible to deny. We made love next to Mark's grave. Uh, um, <laughs> I could feel him watching us. I go back in time. I make the dead come back to life. I create my own reality. The music is playing. It is years ago. My father is still alive. The four of us are sitting in the living room. I feel dirty now. Just reading that. I am reading a book. Allison is knitting and my fa watching my father play checkers with Jody. He almost beats her and then lets her, then lets her win. The scratchy records of my mother's, the old 70s rare recordings of country western songs. When Wooden Heart comes on, my father says, this, is, this was your... Oh. Mother's favorite. She hummed it all the time. Allison smiles as though she remembers my mother too. My father's rubbery interests Jody. Spring in heaven? Will she ever come back to see us? Can we go see her? When people die, my father says, they never come back. It's like going through a door that only opens one way. Is Nanny afraid then? asks Jody. Is she crying? My father looks to me. He doesn't like making death into a fantasy. He is cold and realistic about it. He knows he knows he wants to say Nanny is gone forever and, la and lost forever. That is that she is nothing anymore. But my facial expression tempers him. He does his grandfather's duty. No, when people die they have no fear and they have they have they never have to cry. There's no reason to cry. They feel sorry for people who are alive and have to cry. It's it's your move. Be careful. I'll beat you with checkers this time. You love Jody. My father loved her more than I, that he could ever love me. And yet, because she was my child and he loved her so much, he actually respected me for helping create this beautiful creature. I see him now, watching her, dotting on her. I'll stay here for a while in this room. I'll stay here until I can't stand it anymore, until the shower chokes me. Okay. 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 That was weird. Yeah. Just made love to your uh, made love. will be given in the living room again. And next to your um, look on the coffee best table. Friends, uh, you know, grave. Yeah, yeah, nice, nice. I just felt dirty. <laughs> <laughs> After reading it, I felt dirty. Ah, oh, my body just doesn't feel right. Is beauty? Really, only skin deep. I mean, like, o only on the outside, basically. This is skin deep. I don't know what they mean. Uh, skin being, like, on the outside, what you see. That's what I asked! Yeah, so. No. Peeing in public. Pools is it's disgusting. When I go Everybody to does it though. Yeah, I know. I 
like to dive to the bottom. People want to have kids. Because I personally want to ha have my own kids because peeing in public. They're, they're none kids. of these. I just want to. I just want you know. I'll go with the, go with the second swimming, one. Babies are, are. They are all the above. When I hear a baby crying, I want to. So uh, nurse it. When I go swimming, I have wanted to have sex with another couple. People want to Dave? have kids. Oh me! Uh, I I wanted to have sex with babies another couple. Are, are, no. The smell of coconut lotion makes me uh, I never smelt it before really when I hear a baby really? crying mm. I want to nosh it uh, nauseous. I have wanted to have sex the beach is a great place to uh, take walks I like long, long walks on I the beach I wanted to ha my, my idea of the perfect beach babe is Replace that with hall. dude. Replace it with dude. The smell of coconut lotion. Oh wait, makes me... who the fuck? The beach is a great David place. Oh, Derek. Yeah. Women who don't shave their armpits are Miley Cyrus. What do you think? The beach is a great well, place. Well, to... shit. Miley Cyrus isn't shaving her armpits My right idea now. Of the um, beach, babe, is it's not vile. It's not. Women who don't. Don't Lazy, I guess. Uh, earthly? No, it's not earthy. She's just a great place to... trying to be like something My different. Idea of the Let's just say earthy. Is men who give flowers. It's not earthly. They are romantic guys. That's cute. My, I, these two people are mm. perfect beach babe. They is... are in love. I'm constantly falling in love with people who. Um. Hmm. Last one. The most important thing about a lover is. Oh damn it! First and last one I. Uh, I think first one. You need to have a good sense of fucking Guys humor. with big muscles are... They're... Hmm. Hmm. I guess disciplined. Working out shows that you are... Healthy. Sometimes wild horses chase deer and eat them. Wild horses. No, what? Never heard that before. False? Yeah, false. Summer camp is fun because you get to... Um... Sing songs by the campfire. At least once, I have stared in awe at a horse's penis. <laughs> I never seen a really? I never seen a horse's penis. It's massive. It's fun. Can I look it up? To... Yes. At least just so you can say true. So wait, do I just look up horse penis? Yeah, horse penis. Yeah. It's huge. Summer camp is fun. Holy motherfucking <laughs> shit! <laughs> there we go. True. At least <laughs> there it is. The size it's of so a man's big. penis. Is, um... Summer camp is fun because you get to. At least once. That's I've like in it. All it it, it plays a penis. factor, I guess, because I don't. I don't want to triple deck. It's up to you. I. Mm. 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 Fourth one. I'll, I'll say that. This photograph. Is I don't like hot dogs, so it's a it's humorous. It is. It is really. Making is. love in the dark is. Mm -hmm. Oh, you want me? Uh, it's sexy, but. 
intimate this photograph and erotic or exciting making love oh my god the there's three hmm I'll s intimate this guy is dating um a younger woman the girl on the left is saying uh guess what did you hear about gossip is one of my favorite things to do. Mm. No. <laughs> I spread the truth, motherfuckers. Secrets are meant to be... Capped. Hey, this woman is... Girl on the left is saying... Girl, you're mm. facing the wrong way! Mm. Gossiping is one of my favorite things What is she to doing? Do. Secrets. I don't know what the fuck be... she's doing. She's like looking the opposite way. This woman this is... Woman is facing the wrong way. Oh, oh, sorry. Some women <laughs> enjoy being sex objects. No opinion. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Hello. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, look at that booty. Oh, Whoa. Shit, nice booty. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, what? What? That. Did you like it? What? It was fantastic. What? It was Catherine. <laughs> It was Catherine. She's been encouraging me to take control of things. Listen to this. Catherine? I'm sorry to bother you, but Jody's been crying. I guess you didn't hear her. Oh, poor Jody. She's been asking for her daddy. Oh, Michael. is going on what What is happening? What the? What is happening? I don't know. Oh my god. My brain. Here, I needed to take this up to Catherine. And it's her day off, and I thought we'd treat her like a queen for all that she's done for us. <laughs> I told her I'd make her breakfast in bed. And she wants you to be her waiter. You're kidding. No, I'm not. I'm uh -oh. very grateful, and you should be too. Now take it up to her before it gets too cold. Then I need you to go to the co-op in Ashland. What for? <gasps> Catherine needs some organic herbal shampoo. I couldn't find it anywhere else. Jesus. Michael. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what is happening? This game. Enter. 
Enter. You pass it. Whoop. you do that last night? Mm, looks divine. It was cruel and sick. Perfect. Why did you do it? Do what? Pretend you were Jody. It was horrible. For whom? Allison benefited from it greatly. She needed to hear you talk to Jody like that. You've been ignoring her lately. Mmm, this is so good. Your wife is something else in the kitchen. Wow, she's so pretty. You're good in bed too, from all the groaning going on. Ooh, mm. bitch. Yeah. <laughs> pretty hot and heavy, I'd say. That's why you came in. You're jealous. On the contrary, I'm the one that put her up to it. Got what? me all excited, actually. What kind of a person are you? The kind that got your wife back, isn't that what you wanted? No, not like this. <sighs> You're just like every man. You want everything on your own terms. You should be grateful you have anything at all, considering the circumstances. I have been considering the circumstances. When are you leaving? Do you really want me to leave, Michael? It's not going to work anymore. As you said, I have my wife back. But it isn't the same with her, is it? You going to join me? Is Dr. Turner there? Yeah. What do you mean he's not back yet? Jeez. No, I don't want another doctor. God damn it. Yes, I realize this is the answering service. Do you have Mrs. Greenstreet's number? She knows how to get in touch with him. She's his receptionist. Okay, I'll call Monday. Help, sir. You know Mrs. Greenstreet works for Dr. Turner? Huh? I didn't think so. I have to get some organic herbal shampoo. The goings on in this house are far beyond anything I would have imagined. Catherine, how could she do this? She's a woman of extraordinary gifts, and, well, it's very disturbing. And Michael, he loves his wife, I know he does. And yet he's doing these things with Catherine while his wife's in the same house. Poor Alison. 
It's all so twisted. If I saw even a photograph of a snake when I was a child, I would break out into a cold sweat. False. Why did Catherine say, you smell good like a woman to Michael? Hmm. To mess with his mind. Sometimes I'm amused by stories of criminals who get away with crimes and become famous. Yeah. I love my father more than my mother. Neither of the above. Once in a while, I just burst into tears for no good reason. Nope. And Dave's like, that's a fucking lie. That is a lie. I is not. You're a sensey like I am. Come on. That is so not a lie. <laughs> uh, let's look at this. But that might have been what the end the of the fuck game. What is going on? I don't know. Dog would stop barking. What? That? That's it? It's real. For real. That's it. I wish that dog would stop barking. Oh shit. Okay then. Last night I returned Allison and Michael to one another. Just as I, just as I said, I would not hold yet hold. Not yet, not yet healthy, but the foundation is solid. They could build on and mend together from here. I lay in my room naked beneath the sheet, caressing myself quietly to the sound of their lovemaking. I fa fa found myself both sitting in the pressure and exclu excluded from it. I doubt if I, I'll doubt if I, I'll ever again know the sort of love Michael and Allison share. It's buried, but he lives. I thought of Brian, his scorched expression at having someone upon Turner and me in our bed. <gasps> Okay, confirmed. Confirmed. The way he turned Saudi close to on, on his way out. I'll never know it wasn't a mistake. That I'd known when to expect him. But business. The end has simply arrived. I did it for him. My betrayal is far easier for him to bear than hearing me say, I never loved you. I made remarkable progress with Addison, but by no means is the case complete. There is still so much work to be done, and my I am hungry. Uh, so I'm gonna end this. I'm just gonna end myself reading this personal daddy because that's what I have to do to make my goal and my stomach understand. Yeah, exactly. All that good <laughs> stuff. <laughs> what? Stuff and things. Radio, radio, radio. Oh, yeah. Radio KTIT. KTIT. Only the breast. Um, I mean, the best tunes in town. If you know where that's from, brownie points for you. Sorry. Dare you. I just got a fax. This is kind of interesting. It reads, Alan, the reason I'm frigid is because you're so lousy in bed. The last time we were having sex, I almost projectile vomited all over the sheets. That's how much you make me sick. I'm glad that I listened to the radio today because now I know what kind of a disgusting creep you really are. By the time you get home, I'll be gone, and you'll never see me or the money in that not-so-secret savings account ever again. Well, Alan, there's your second opinion. And that's the show for today. Now go out and get a life! Holy shit! There we go. Damn! I feel like that's the last one we're gonna get. Because she said, 
Now go out and get a life. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see what Allison is thinking in her journal. E. Oh, shit. I felt powerful, like I had total control over him. Like, I like that feeling. That's how I did the special thing that Catherine told me about with those muscles down there. And I was like, it was like when we first used to make love. I owe it to Catherine. She's so smart. Everything is changing. Yeah. All the things are changing. Everything. Literally, everything is literally changing. Yep. To the study. <laughs> all, all, whoa! Holy crap! Evil fucking bitch, goddamn evil slut! How could she do that? Pretending to be my little girl, I could have had fucking killed her right there. Smash her against the Christ wall, Christ! What kind of person would do that? God, God, she's mocking me. Everything that she does, everything she says, every look, mocking me. God, what's wrong with me? What is wrong with me? I hated her so much at that moment, and yet when she touched me, I felt it. I felt a flood of desire that hit me like a drug. Even though I just made love with Allison, I used I had to use all my willpower to not fall Catherine into her room end. Am I um am I so pathetically weak, or is she just incredibly powerful? The dead. Oh, who cares? Who cares? The dead hover hover about about us and know our most secret thoughts and actions. They linger. They become our good and bad angels. God has, God assigns them this role. Call them. Those spirit souls, it's all the same. They're all haunted by the ones we love. We love the most. That's why we can't forget them. The closer we are with them, the longer they remain. I believe this. I am terrified by it. Jody's upset with what I have done by betraying Alice, and I also betrayed my little girl. I destroyed the magic of our home, a place where we were isolated from the world, where we could shut out the noise and commotion. We could speak and talk voices and tell happy stories. We could go out on the porch and just look at the stars. We listen to the sounds of night, and then we were never afraid of the crows making their awful no sounds. And we had one another. Yeah. Fuck yeah, powerful. Even though I said, who who cares? Very powerful. <laughs> uh, we still can't go to Jody's room yet. Well, uh, let's look around the living room then. At that creepy motherfucking face. <sighs> Don't remind me. Come on. <laughs> there it is. Peckable bitch. The next TAT will be given what? in Jody's room one more time. Look for the drawing toy. Drawing toy. One more time. Here we go. Take his fucking Friday. What the shit happened to my week? <laughs> Just saying. How is this game gonna end? Oh my god! We'll find out. Actually, we'll find out next time. Okay, thank god I gotta pee. Yeah, we'll find out next time. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> See you guys next time. Bye bye! bye. bye. Pee 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 pee!